Hi there, welcome back to another video. Today, I thought I'll be doing a feeding video, I guess. Um, this this feeding video is going to be on my Bosk and Tegu. Um, they're my largest uh, lizards I have, um, and they require the most amount of food. Um, however, I stagger it out substantially, and the Tegu does get more than the Bosk. Um, so on today's menu, uh, we have for the tegu a banana. Um, this is just going a bit mouldy, well not mouldy, a bit brown, so no one else in the house will eat it, so the tegu's going to have it. And uh, for both of them, uh, we have some giant African land snails. Now I feel kind of bad for feeding giant African land snails because they are kind of a pet animal as well, but I have so many now um, that I can just feed them off and I'm going to uh, breed them and feed them and it'll be a good diet for them uh, a good supplementary diet that's quite meaty uh, quite juicy so a lot of moisture in there as well as the the added calcium from the um, shell and for the tegu it's not the most natural diet I'm pretty sure they will come across snails in the wild but not African land snails uh, but for the bosk who's down here and has figured out how to turn the humidifier up so I have to go and tweak that um, they, they do eat them in Ghana, so, you know, and all around, there, there are snails around there, so I'm going to be jumping in, I'm going to feed, I'm going to be feeding them, um, so, yeah, hopefully you do find this enjoyable in some way, um, yeah. Okay, so now I am in the enclosure, this is an 8 foot by 4 foot enclosure, so I can jump in it, um, which is quite nice, I do like it, he's actually going for a shed right now, that's a sign of a growing lizard, hey. He's a bit of a spray down, don't you? Hello, he knows what he's getting. He knows he's getting food. Oh well, oh gosh. He's like a big dog and he's definitely getting bigger. Well, I mean, he's all right. As long as he doesn't do a poop and take my ear off, he should be fine, um, but I do need to feed him. Um, he is a wanting to be escape artist. That's all he wants to do in life is just climb out of this enclosure. Um, I mean that's what he's trying to do now really, he's just trying to figure out a way to scale the wall. He's like the Indominus out of Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World even, I should say. Alright you, come on. Not at the best angle is it? Oh gosh. There we go. Okay, so I wonder if he knows I'm about to feed him some interesting foods. So, I don't think he's ever actually seen an African lance now. Or any snail for that matter. Alright, all first snail, here we go, one of the smaller ones. Uh, sorry if you're a snail keeper, I, I don't mean to. Uh, come here. He doesn't know what it is. Oh, yeah, okay, he, he, he recognizes that I have food. There we go. Do you like it? I've coated it in calcium rather unnecessarily, but uh, it's always good to check it in. Ooh, big crunchy meal. Oh, he doesn't like the shell. That's interesting because the Bosque eats the shell. And this one, he's picked through. Wow. Aren't you a clever boy? Yeah. Because the Bosque likes the shell. He likes to eat the calcium. When I have uh, eggs and I feed him the eggs, I give the Bosque the shell. And he seems to like it quite a bit. There's another one. He's gonna go and strut his stuff. Can't seem to crush it, but they do have incredible jaws. Um, so he will take that. There we go. Shove it. See how he's shoving it further back to the uh, back teeth there, crushing it down. And he seems to be spitting it out and trying to get the meat in the inside there. Yeah. That's rather, that's very interesting. De-shelling a snail with no hands. This is the first time I've ever seen a tegu eat a, a snail, to be honest. 
This is rather interesting. Very cool. Oh, you got a bit of dirt there with it, but it should be fine. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah? How was that? Was that good? It looks good. All right, here's another one. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, he's getting good at this. Yeah? One more? Oh, there we go. There's the flick of the shell. It's almost uh, similar to how uh, uh, a macaw eats nuts and things. You know, they roll it around in their beak. And then, um, you know, flick out the uh, shell with a, a flick of the tongue or the uh, or the head. There you go. He's not sure what's now and what's a uh, shell now, is he? All right. I've got another one here. Ooh. Now, to be a bit more enriching, I will, I will obviously scatter the food around the cage. However, because this is the first time he's ever eaten snail... Um, I'm not really having to worry about that too much because being a new food item on its own is very enriching as it is. I mean, look how he's he's doing this. This is taking some serious brain power to do. Um, it's not the most time-consuming enrichment, but it sure is enrichment nonetheless. Um, so yeah, and the last snail, the big one, I don't know if he's going to be able to eat this. And I feel kind of sad for doing this to him, but uh, there we go. Oh, gosh. Here we are. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah, there he goes. It's a tough shell, that one. Oh, wow. That's it. Good boy. <laughs> All right. So that's how the tegu eats snails. And uh, we are going to compare that to how the bosk eats snails. Because I reckon it's going to be a bit different. Um, tegus and bosks are not actually related to closely. Um, it's, they just look similar because they have evolved in similar environments. Um, it's actually a form of convergent evolution, and you've seen, and you've seen my me opening the banana. So, do you want a banana? There you go. Now you shouldn't really feed them banana too often, but uh, you know, considering it's a video, and uh, this is enrichment as well, because I've given them the whole banana. Another method of enrichment is offering whole food items and then offering chopped up food items on different days. It allows them to not get too used to eating a a, a food. Um, 
too well, so then uh, you know he has to manage trying to eat a whole item, tearing it apart in different methods. And then uh, if it's uh, chopped up, then it doesn't obviously uh, require all that effort. So there he is, and he'll he'll do that for a while and take it apart, probably spread it around the enclosure uh, while flicking it and chewing it and everything. And then he'll go back over and see, like there, he just separated it in two. You have to go back and find it later on. Okay, so I'll head over to the boss enclosure and uh, we will continue with the feeding. Okay, so here is the bosk. Um, he is not happy right now, as you can see by the curled tail and the head. Um, my prediction is if I go near him, he's going to whip me. So, oh no, he spotted the food. Okay, well that's good. Um, he's not used to me going in his enclosure too often. Um, so he's not happy at the start. But whenever I introduce food, he's happy. Um, he's a bit of a chubby boss right now. I did feed him two days ago, so this is going to be the last meal of the week, and it's well, it's Friday, so he'll, his next meal will be around Wednesday time, I reckon, if not a bit later, depending on how much he poos and the temperatures, because it's quite warm. So, first one here, let's see how he does. Oh, okay, let's see if he chews it up and swallows the shell. Well, that is a tough cookie to crack, isn't it, boy? Let's give it another go of a different one. Maybe that one was just a little bit too tricky for him. Okay, another one. Hey. Where's the camera pointing? Ooh. I don't think he noticed where that one went. No, he didn't. It's down there, boy. He's really on point now. He thinks he wants food. Yes, yes he does. Okay, let's, uh, there we go. Maybe this will be a bit better. There we are. I have to apologize for all the humidity focus going at it oh there we go oh, it's very similar to what the bot uh, the tegu did wow Very cool. Now, I do actually have some locusts in here as well for him, because um, that is a natural diet for them as well. And uh, I'd like to just give him a little bit of extra food. Uh oh, there we are. Well, wow. but uh, I'm gonna just chuck the locust over here somewhere. Um, he'll come and get that later if he doesn't see it. So if he doesn't, okay. Next now. Camera is not focusing. Come here. Come here. Now, he's probably going to bite my fingers if I'm not careful. Oh. Oh. There we go. Ah, he still thinks my fingers are food. There we go. Oh gosh, the snails are uh, working up over here. Oh, oh, this might be a bit graphic. I might need to put a graphic warning on this video.
Oh, I think he's got a bit of shell stuck in him. There we go. Yeah. Look, he's still got loads of the meat. Oh, he's really poised. There we go. The Bosque isn't as big as the Tegu, and I don't think he has the uh, same immense jaw pressure as the Tegu as well. He doesn't have those big jowls. Um, so that might mean something and have something to do with why he takes longer and doesn't uh, crush the shell as easy. Um, he's got a longer pointed snout as well, so I guess he would probably be more like pointy and pull things out like he's doing now. Yes. And we have one more here. I'll just chuck around. Oh, okay, never mind, he'll go for it anyway. And take it. Oh gosh, okay, that one came out easy. They're quite watery, so I guess he's getting loads in his mouth, and he's not liking the dirt, as you can see. Look, it's there. He's deshelled it, but he hasn't eaten it. Eh? Don't waste your food. There we are. Yes, he doesn't like the soil, but so. Yeah. There we are. He is thrashing that thing around. Scrap it. Come on. <laughs> there we are. I'm just going to move the other ones onto the... Uh rock here because he doesn't like the soil yeah so there we go there is my bosque and that is him eating uh you know food i guess that's interesting so i hope you did find that as interesting as i did um i know it's a bit of a strange video to upload but uh it's always good to show uh when uh, my animals get new things and experience new items and things He's still in food mode right now but um you know, that's, that's it really. Thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And uh, I'll see you all in another video.